I, I had a business called uh, Best Hair, and uh, it was a custom hair extension company, which no one else ever had. So it immediately overnight blew up. I mean, I was making about sixty, seventy thousand dollars a month. Um, and yeah, I know. Wait, hold up. Hair extensions with hair extensions. Yes. It was, uh, not only a domestic brand, but it was international. It was in movies, magazines, books, and all this other stuff. Um, there was one night, um, actually what got me into the business is I, I heard from the Lord about it. I had a vision as I was driving to p take my daughter somewhere or pick her up or something like that. And I just got really excited. Well, um, fast forward, I have the business. There was one day that my, I, I needed hair in, I needed hair extensions in house. I needed the product in house and, um, I needed, that was about a hundred thousand dollars. That's I know crazy. Like go get a lottery ticket or something like that. How do you get a hundred thousand dollars? But I was praying and I was like, God, I've really just, I didn't tell anybody this who tells somebody something like this, but I was just asking like, God, I just need a hundred thousand dollars. I really do. If I want to have hair product in house and to keep it going, because before what I was doing is when they would make, <clears throat> pardon me, when they would make the order, I would then order it overseas. So that it was a long time for it to go from overseas into America. Um, and then the next morning I woke up, you know, I'm just working or whatever. And you know how you check your emails when you wake up and all that. And I did that. And there was a deposit of, um, 99,000 or $98,000 in my account. Not, and I'm not even, it was like 99. I think it was, it was something really close to a hundred thousand dollars. It was so much that I was like, hold on. I called the bank of me. I looked at my bank account on my app and I was, I was, it was there. And so I called the bank because you know how, like you may get a deposit and it's like, Oh, sorry. You know? So I called the bank. I was like, yeah, um, you guys, I don't know. It, it's actually from the bank that gave it to me. That's why I was like, okay, so they probably did this on purpose. I mean, on accident. So let me call them. So I called, I was like, Hey, um, you guys, um, put, money in my account. I'm not trying to steal nobody's money. So please take it out before I spend it. Cause I, <laughs> I need that money. And, um, and she was like, Nope, that's yours. When you open up your account, um, we asked if there was like some questionnaire, like, are you interested in different products and services if we roll them out? And I said, yeah, like, I don't know. And, um, and they were like, yeah, well, we rolled out this new product called working capital. And we see that this is your business account and you have been making, you know, transactions in your account. And this money is basically your money. And after that, I kid you not, I literally dropped the phone and I was like, I wasn't even as much as crazy as it sounds at that moment. I was not, I was no longer even interested in my business anymore. I wasn't interested in having a hundred thousand dollars. I literally threw down the phone and I was like, who are you? That's my, <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I asked, I was like, who, who are you? And I, I wanted to find out who I, and let me tell you, I've literally grown up as a Christian but my walk has never been the same since that moment. And I always refer to it as the guy, I keep forgetting his name every time I tell this story, but the guy who was like fishing, he couldn't get fish all night. He needs to get the fish. Peter. And then, Peter. That's right. And then Peter, Peter yeah. uh, and then, um, thank you, by the way. And then, you know, Jesus, he blessed him and had so many fish that the fish was about to uh, tear the boat apart and like drown them. And did he take the fish with him? No, he literally got all those fish and like walked with Jesus. And that is literally how I felt from that moment on. I was just like, I don't, I didn't even need the money anymore. It was like, so it's the weirdest thing, but I still, I, I had the money. I used, utilized it. The business was great. 